Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's third video. Go and have a look at the weather for 10 to 14 days for today's third video. Day 10 will take us to the 14th of June. We'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECF ensembles. Maybe we'll try in a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us to the last stages of June. I shall get on with that for you in a moment, just see about the first video today was our 6am UK weather forecast. And if that wasn't enough, we've also released the first autumn update. Yes, can you believe it? The long-range bandwagon is now rolling on um, to another season. So, uh, of course, some of the forecast was released last weekend. And uh, so this weekend... Yeah, we're rolling on with our uh, with our uh, with our long range to uh, autumn updates. Goodness gracious me! Um, oh, check out those two bits if you like to do that. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. We're at raising money, or have been raising money. We still are raising money for Rainbow's Hospice. So this is the this is the uh, website for uh, Rainbow's. They provide vital care for babies, children and uh, young people in the East Midlands region suffering from life-limiting and terminal conditions at my local children's hospice. And uh, we've ra uh, raised a phenomenal amount of money, absolutely incredible. Um, we're currently at uh, 1,861. It's absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for the uh, for the donations unbelievable all in memory of my mum um mrs p who uh, passed away one year ago uh, on the 27th of may of course did the charity live stream uh, on the 27th of may uh, last weekend as well uh, raising money uh, in, in uh, my mum's memory um and i just thank you so much everybody thank you thank you thank you so much we are quite close to 2000 i'm going to keep plugging at it a little bit longer see if we can get it uh, to 2000 pounds but thank you so much everybody for for the unbelievable donations absolutely wonderful i know uh, rainbows are very very appreciative of the, uh, of the of the money that you've all donated to them, so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to each and every one of you. And of course, if you would like to give a donation, then uh, you can find the link to both Rainbow's Hospice and also uh, our Just Giving page in the description with this video and we thank you so very much everybody for doing that. The Gavs or Weather this community is just unbelievable. And um, you always come through for me and uh, and uh, and for the family and and during all of our troubles and crises that we went through uh, last year. You're there for all of us then. You're still there for me now, and I thank you so much, everybody. Right, okay, let's crack on then uh, with the video. So we're going to start off with setting temperature. The seating is currently sitting at 3.2, which is 0.9 of a degree below 61 to 90 on the average, and that is provisional to yesterday, to the 3rd of June. So, we're having warm days, but cool nights are setting it at the moment. I think we will start to lose those cooler nights so later this week, so we will probably find that the CT begins to uh, pick up as the week goes on. Means of a GFS upgrade temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're at Castle Donington again today. Donington Festival, of course, will be taking place uh, next weekend, actually, all from Thursday through to next weekend. So red line is the 30-year upper air temperature average for Donington. You can see that uh, the upper air temperatures are going to be uh, lifting up over the next week or so, becoming uh, really quite warm, going above 10 degrees at 850 HPA by the time we get through to next weekend. We're saying generally above average. I'm going a little bit, but saying generally above average right way into the second half of June. Lots of dry weather to come as well over the uh, next few days. However, by the time we get through to the weekend of the beginning of next week, we do have some precipitation spikes starting to show up there. So possibly a hint of a bit of a fungi breakdown beginning to start gathering pace sometime around the 10th to the 12th of June. Certainly days on that, but it could be one to watch. And then after that, it looks like it turns rather more showering for the second half of June as well. So the long dry spell might be starting to run out of road. But of course, we've got to wait and see. This is all quite a long way off. So I'll wait a few days, you know, before uh, having too much confidence in a wetter outlook. 
Temperature anomalies on the 4th to the 12th of June are going to be generally above average across most parts of the country. And precipitation anomalies from the 4th to the 12th of June are coming out drier than uh, normal, especially so for more northern and eastern parts of the country. Notice it's still looking quite wet down across the Med. Spain, Portugal still coming out wetter than average. Uh, Italy, Corsica, Sardinia still wet average. It is a little bit drier. Uh, in between around the Balearic Islands, but quite a wet scene really across most parts of, uh, of the Med and also even into North Africa, which is unusual for the time of the year. Um, these regions through here, like uh, Algeria, Morocco, for example, um, and Tunisia, looking uh, wetter than average too. So, again, that's quite unusual for uh, this time of the year. Next river map from EarthNoldSchool.net shows that uh, high pressure. Is in control again today. We've got high pressure sitting in the Atlantic and over the country. Still bring around those coolish sort of northeasty winds for southern eastern parts of the country. It does temper temperature a little bit, and that's the reason we're having those chillier nights as well. We have not yet got high pressure into a position where we can start dragging up hot air uh, from the south. Right, let's start going through chart data then. This is how the latest you can your run is looking for midnight on Wednesday. High pressure right over the top of the country, mostly dry, fine conditions. And high pressure carries on through the end of the week as well. Into next weekend, no sign of a breakdown there, I have to say. <laughs> right way through next weekend, the high pressure just anchored more or less over the top of the country, keeping any sort of thundery charts up there. At the same time, we're not drawing up very hot air or, or warm air from the south. You remember yesterday's video, a bit of a suggestion that we might get temperature uh, close to 30 degrees over the weekend. I don't think the UK Met would, would achieve that as the wind just generally stays from like that easterly direction that it currently is at the moment. But it is very very, very uh, anti-cyclonic map, very high pressure dominated. I can't, again, the high pressure's over the top, the big country bring lots of dry and fine weather with it throughout the rest of the week and into the weekend. Just start to put in a little bit more of a south type flow if I can't. So by the time we get through to next weekend, um, the wind is kind of a little bit from the southeast. Might start to allow some hotter air or some warmer air to move up from um, uh, from France, and a bit of a chop beginning to get going towards the southwest as well. I wouldn't say that's a that's a breakdown. I wouldn't say that's a fungi breakdown, but it might be hinting at going uh, warmer, more humid, and also perhaps a little bit more showery as we go through next weekend with Icon compared to the UK Met anyway. But GFS Midnight Run once more has that big area of high pressure over top of the country through the rest of the week into the weekend. Again, just begin to pull wind up a little bit more for a south direction, perhaps with the uh, GFS Midnight Run. There's a bit of fungi low developing over uh, France as well. So as we go for next weekend, the GFS Midnight Run actually looks quite encouraging for some heavy showers, maybe thunderstorms, caper lifted. First time you see that this season, I think, looking quite interesting. Um, particularly for England and Wales, very high levels of Cape across France as well. Uh, it might be a bit of a thundery uh, outbreak next weekend, definitely one to watch. Temperatures will be getting quite warm as well with this, by the way. And then beyond that, heading up towards day 10 and beyond it, high pressure constantly ridging into the south, with lots of dry and uh, warm weather there. Also a little bit more unsettled for more northern and western regions. And eventually this trough low pressure does push through by the 17th of June, Winter, a rather cooler and slightly more showery run of westerly northwest winds, but not for long. The Azores side, which is back into the south. I have to say, the Azores side is looking very ridgy again at the moment. That's one of the things we watch out for as we go into summer because most of our um, hotter spells tend to come courtesy of the Azores high, ridging in from the southwest and then breaking away to the east and allowing hot air to move up uh, from the south. So one of the precursors to hot weather tends to be if the Azores high is in a ridgy, you know, it is ridging a lot. It's in a ridgy mood rather than being pulled away from us in the centre of the Atlantic. Again, this year it does look as though the Azores high is quite ridgy, I have to say. So that's one to watch. Of course, the GFS 6 set again with high pressure over the top of the country on Wednesday. That high pressure maintained in Thursday, Friday into the weekend. Start to drag up a little bit more of South Beach flow. That should bring warmer temperatures with it as well over the weekend. Probably increasing with humidity too. A little bit, not, a little bit less convincing 
about the prospect of turning Shari off Fundery over the weekend, I think, as pressure remains relatively high. Um, and then beyond that, we head into the extended range and just a large ridge of high pressure dominating. Again, we see the Azor side ridging up from the southwest up into northern parts of Europe. That maintains mostly dry and uh, potentially very warm weather right the way into the middle part of uh, the month, actually beyond mid-month. And you see what I'm talking about with the Azores High. So so here comes the ridge from the Azores here on Saturday the 17th of June. There comes the Azores High pushing up from the southwest, trying to move to northern Europe. We go through to the 18th of June. Nice ridge there from the Azores into northern and western parts of Europe. And then by the time we get through to 20th of June, that ridge has broken east and formed an area of high pressure to the east and so that would start to allow hotter air to come up from the south so that's the reason that we keep a close eye on what the azores high is doing there's some very hot air by the end of the gfs 6 20th of june so very hot air is uh, moving from north africa into spain portugal with plus 20 celsius iceberg i wouldn't say that that's on its way to us by any means but again it is interesting that uh, the heat is really building there across spain and north africa by the time we get through to the end of gfs 6 set if you enjoyed the video, please think you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gals Worth Vids. And thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that. A round of four subscribers is going to get us to 15.9k. So we are so, so close to 15,900 subscribers. Please give us a sub. Thank you so much um, for doing that. And tell your friends and family to subscribe as well. And also tell your friends and family about Rainbows. Hospice may provide vital care for babies, children and young people in the East Midlands uh, region with life limiting and terminal conditions. And uh, check out the Just Giving page if you'd like to give a donation. That is how you can do so. Uh, okay, GM, once more, that area of high pressure is over the top of the country on Wednesday. High pressure is maintained through Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, high, high pressure just goes on and on and on. Not much sign of a fungi breakdown. In fact, either is a fungi low over France, Germany, and the low countries just there. But I think generally the high pressure is keeping that at base. So Virginia, I think, is mostly dry and very warm. And then the ECM looks like this. Again, large area of high pressure over the top of the country. High pressure is maintained throughout the uh, week and into the weekend as well. However, by the time we get through to the beginning of the following week, so this is Tuesday 13th of June, high pressure is going further north than any of the other model output is taking yet. And we do start to bring this thundery trough in from off the continent. Now, out of all, all of the models, I think the ECM is the most bullish in developing thundery, uh, uh, thundery conditions, particularly for the south and the southeast, as we head towards the middle part of June. This is a precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tometeo.com. Not much of interest over the next few days. going to be high and dry all the way, but as we come towards day 9 and 10, we just start to see some heavy showers and thunderstorms will begin to flirt with the far west and southwest. And they start to get a little bit more widespread as we go up towards the middle part of um, June. So here we are, we're on the 13th of June here um, at 6 o'clock in the evening. And some big showers and storms developing across parts of England and Wales there. It's a very long way off. And as I say, out of all of the model output... The ECM taking this high pressure so far north that it, it allows this thundery trough to push up from the south and the east. Looks pretty isolated. Not, no other model is doing that. So it might be that the ECM up is an outlier. Let's have a look at the options on the table within the ECM ensemble today at 4 day 10, getting us to the 14th of June. So 22. Members of the ECM ensembles have high pressure in Scandinavia. That's going to be mostly dry and warm wind still coming in from the east. 21, take that high pressure just a bit further north, up towards Greenland and Iceland. Still bringing the wind from the east, but allowing some slacker gradients, that trough to push in from the south and southeast. 21 doing that, so quite a few. And then we've got eight with high pressure again in the North Atlantic around that. Winds come in 
from like um, a northeasterly type direction. I mean, to be time, these are the options that we've got. Gets to the 19th of June. 19 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure to our north and northwest. Mostly dry for the north. Could be taking a little bit more showering in the south from France, though. We've got 17 with high pressure towards Scandinavia, lower pressure is in the Atlantic. That's probably trying to break things down from the southwest. And then we've got 15 that have turned unsettled. We've got a chop of low through the north and the west of Europe with high pressure in the Atlantic. Obviously, that is the most unsettled option. Only 15 going in that direction, though. So it's uh, it's a minority, albeit quite a significant one. So FSB2, uh, finally, and then we're done on this sunny, on, on this sunny Sunday afternoon. I should have gone off on that tangent, should I? Um, <laughs> not very good with my S's after my tongue operation last year. Um, anyway, so FSB2, uh, 500 millibar height on for down to week periods. The first week period takes from 4 to the 10th of June. Uh, the coming week, we'll have high pressure over top of Gochi, so it remains high and dry. Uh, we get through the week. Two, which is going to be the 11th to 17th of June. High pressure goes more towards Greenland and Iceland with lower pressure trying to come in from uh, the south. That could start to bring some wetter weather into more southern, southwestern parts of the country. Week three, three is the 18th to 24th of June. This also rather unsettled. High pressure only gone up to Greenland with a trough of low pressure over the UK and Ireland, or certainly to the south and southwest of the UK and Ireland. Anyway, that looks more unsettled, I think, for that week. And then week four, a little bit non-committal. It's the 25th of June to the 1st of July. Actually, we get to the 1st of July now with the CFS. Good gracious. Um, oh, uh, what's going on there? So we've got some high pressure across southern and southeastern parts of Europe and some blocking in the polar region. Otherwise, I'll put in a question mark because it's not really clear what's what's happening there. But I suspect, in reality, there's probably going to be some low pressure through uh, this area. And, um, you know, just doing something a bit like that. Anyway, it's four weeks away, so it's not worth worrying about. Don't look as though the second half of June might turn a little bit more changeable, though, compared to the first half. Right, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please can you like, share, subscribe, and just show me share point of that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gals Worth it, and to get them to subscribe as well. You'll all be able to watch our content together if you do that. Both videos, live streams, etc, etc, etc. And uh, also tell your friends and family about Rainbow's Hospice, providing vital care for babies, children and young people in the East Midlands region with life-limiting and terminal conditions. And uh, check out the Just Giving page if you'd like to give a donation and help get to £2,000. That would be unbelievable. Thank you so much, everybody. Right, we're done with today's Beats Men. So just tell you what's coming up tomorrow. We're going to start off 16 UK weather forecast. There will be another update for um, Donington. For the Donington Festival. And also Le Mans. And um, as well as that, we'll have a 10 to 40 day. And I'll be live streaming at 8pm tomorrow evening. I shall see you live with the 12Z. And also with some uh, long range as well. So uh, live stream tomorrow, 8pm. You're around the channel, then check in. And uh, it'll be nice to hang out for a little while. You enjoy the rest of your uh, Sunday. Enjoy the sunshine if you're off out into it. And uh, for this video, babe, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.